Hey guys, welcome back to another edition of the Pain Points Video Mini Podcast. I am Sarah Harbuck and with me today is David Rush. David, why don't you give us the lowdown on you, uh, your age and where you're from and all the, you know, pets, kids, relationship status, any of that kind of stuff. <laughs> My name is David Rush, I'm 29. I was originally from Houston, from uh, Fairland, Houston, and then we moved here to Huntington when I was covered in first and second grade. So we've been here ever since. Um, I'm single, I don't have kids. I have a dog named Reverend. He's a black German Shepherd, five and a half months old. We're going to have to see pictures of him in a minute. Uh, I have to pull him up. And... I, have, I have many pictures. I can send you. Yes, you should. <laughs> That's <laughs> cute. So it, having a dog is like having a baby. So congratulations. <laughs> I mean, I think I've done pretty well. It's a good step, like a progress step. Yeah, definitely. It's something gets... that will probably never happen. But... <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, a dog is fine. That's fine. Yeah. Um, so you are a hand poke tattoo artist at Black Spot Tattoo Company. Uh, yeah. What is the best thing about your job? Uh, meeting all the different kinds of people that walk in is pretty neat. Because like people are just very inspiring, and especially the people that come from out of town. Because it's like, I'm not worth that. Like, why are they, why are they coming to me? And then it's like, totally like, it's got to stay humble. It's a humbling experience. Sure. That they would trust something that would be permanent yeah. on their body with you. Yeah, like it still blows my mind. Like, we drove eight hours. Like, wow. Cool, cool, thank you. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. I think meeting the different types of people is, is definitely a perk of a job like that. You get to see people from all different types of walks of life, I think, so. Yeah, uh, like, there's a lot of people that you meet that like I would have never interacted with if I wouldn't been that doing. Yeah. I'm very quiet and I was really like outgoing and talking to everyone. So it kind of forces me out of my element to talk to people I wouldn't talk to. And it's pretty neat. Very rewarding. Very cool. Well, when you were a kid, what was something, what was the job that you wanted to do? Uh, I wanted to be a police officer. A police officer? Yeah, sure. I think you know that. <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> Not a firefighter or an astronaut. <laughs> I mean, at one point I wanted to do, I wanted to do something with computers, but I wasn't really sure what. Yeah. So I had one whole college credit to my name and it was a Go figure. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, uh, how do you start your day in a positive frame of mind? You know, some people like to get up and start exercising or meditate or they'll put on their favorite song. What do you do to get your day started off on the right foot? I usually will go outside, I'll take my dog out, so we can brush it. And then I will drink a bottle of water, smoke a cigarette, and uh, maybe throw the ball around with him for a little bit. Just gonna focus on him. That's therapeutic. It is. Something yeah. simple and, you know, it, a dog is just gonna love you no matter what. And so getting yeah, your day started that always way. Always the ball back no matter what. So I don't, <laughs> it's finalist. All right. <laughs> um, what would you say is your um, current favorite song that really gets you pumped up for the day or to wind the day down or whatever, whatever you want to choose? Um, so my music taste really goes through phases. It was, I used to listen to a lot of rap and now I'm going back to through like all metal slash emo phase. So I've been listening to a lot of slipknot, just any of it really. Anything, we'll just get you yeah. going. Just turn yeah. it on really loud, right? Yeah, really loud, really loud <laughs> in your face. Um, do you have a favorite uh, inspiring quote that really resonates with you? I mean, not really. I've never really been the one to like put focus on quotes like that. I mean, that's fine. I mean, I, yeah. people, when people ask me, well, who's your mentor? I'm like, I don't have one. Yeah, yeah, I don't believe in I don't know. Um, well, that's totally cool. Do you, as a tattoo artist, uh, or, or it could be completely unrelated, but do you have any like social media accounts that you are currently following that you really are enjoying and they inspire you in some way, whether it's art or fashion or music or lifestyle stuff? So, yeah. So I have one account called We Are All Corrupted. He's, he's, uh, he's I like that name. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's really cool. It's really dark art. So it's a lot of skulls and crows and it's very wild stuff. It's very inspiring. Um, there's Afro brutality, and he just posts motivational shit that's just really brutal. Like it's just like straight to the point and honest. 
and I really appreciate that that person I am. And then uh, there's a astrophotographer called Gibson Picks that I really like with the space stuff, and it's just really beautiful pictures. Yeah, that's. I've noticed that that's really popular right now, and yeah. uh, I was always like, did something happen that made astrophotography like explode on on the internet? But yeah, I'm seeing a lot of that right now. So that's interesting that one of those people is one of your favorite accounts. That's cool. Yeah. Um, okay. I well, we were. I knew someone the other day that knows it, and I was like, oh, that's so cool. They know that person. Yeah, so <laughs> with another astrophotographer. Oh, that's like, cool. Yeah, it's really cool. Okay, neat. Well, uh, we were talking about this just a second ago. Uh, do you have anybody who would be, say, a role model or a mentor to you currently or in the past that you want to give a shout out to? I'm sure there was some that I would want to give a shout out to, but it's not really people that actually take me. Like, I, don't really, <laughs> I, don't, I don't really believe in that kind of stuff. Like, I don't like inspiring to be someone else. I try to be myself. I'm gonna look up to myself. Yeah, I kind of I feel you on that one. I, anytime anybody asks me something like that, I just I'm like I don't know what to say because I I don't really look to anybody. Yeah. Like I gotta improve myself, and while yes, they may yeah. be living a great example, I don't really. Right. Yeah. I don't know. It uh, feels weird. <laughs> um, if you could talk to your younger self right now and give them a piece of advice, what would you say? To not stop when things got hard, because that was one of my biggest things until I got out of the tattooing. Like, I would go to the point where I would need to push through to the next level, and I would just be like, oh, fuck it, I'm going to go work at Target, you know? Like, yeah. Just whatever. And then, like, this has been really rewarding, like, just pushing those boundaries. Like, I never really pushed past that. Like, it, it's so, yeah, keep moving oh. forward. That's, a, that's good advice, I think, yeah. in EA age, actually. <laughs> Uh, why don't you tell everybody where they can find you on social media? So, Instagram, you can find me at St. David Inc. Um, Facebook, David Rush. There's the picture of me that doing this, so you can watch me. Um, and that's about it. Yeah. Wow. yeah. And uh, if anybody needs any hand poked tattoos, you need to give David a, a, a message, send him a message, and uh, get something booked up. He's got a lot of really great stuff and uh, I saw him when he started and I, to see where he is now he's come a really long way so David you've uh yeah yeah that was a long time ago feels like it feels like a whole other lifetime ago but <laughs> well anyway uh, think on the leg one of your first ones like the uh, around the Ewok yeah I think so that's so. god I can't remember now I don't know it's been <laughs> it was like <laughs> Yeah, I slept since then. Who knows? <laughs> All right. Well, David, thanks so much for stopping in and uh, <laughs> letting us know a little bit about you. And uh, like I said, every y'all can find him at Black Spot Tattoo Company and uh, hit him up at St. David Inc. And uh, thanks again, David. We'll uh, see you around. See ya. Bye.